Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here, and welcome to the second episode of my San Lorenzo Academy career mode. And before we get into any gameplay, let's see how we did off camera. First game off camera was an unlucky one as we did lose to Arsenal by a score of 3-2. to two. They did score in the final minutes, but we did have two goals and both were by Adolfo Gajic. As Gajic was able to get the Vaca cross here in the second half. And then his second goal came in the 81st minute. As there's a great run by Gabby Pereira as he's able to center in the box. Thankfully, Gajic had a lucky bounce, but then they did get the goal. POV, able to get right past the defender near post pass Amoroso. Second game off camera fared a little better as we did beat Union by a score of four to two. Look at the stats, nearly identical as Union had eight shots, seven on target, same as us, 50% possession. We will take a look at the match highlights here. Got the scoring started after Franco Trojanski was able to score for Union. It was Adelfo Gajic got the pass from Vaca. Then just before halftime, we had not one but two. Gajic was able to get another long pass in and put it past the keeper. Looking to score, but he's a nice guy. Passed it to Barrero. We already had a 3-1 lead. Though they did score in the 60th minute, Finish him off in the 72nd with an easy score by Gabi Pereira. At the end of the last episode, I did say I would finish the entire month of September as we do take on Cologne, Buenos Aires, and Banfield. But there is a game, a big game in the month of October, the game against Huracan. And it's a big rivalry. San Lorenzo and Huracan are humongous rivals. So I think I'm going to end the episode there as we will play the games against Cologne and Buenos Aires. Boca Juniors, and we'll finish it out with this game, the big rivalry game against Huracan. Before I discuss this game, there's one issue I need to address, and that is the ad on that dude's crotch. That is one of my biggest pet peeves in this game. I think the second one is the ads on the ass. The ass and the crotch. You cannot have any ads there. It just looks so uncomfortable, and it's awful. Like, don't put it there. There's so many other places you can put ads. But that's the one that you thought of, just right on the crotch. Oxen Pichuras. Cool. Great. Anyway, let's just move past it. Let's play Cologne at the Elephant's Graveyard. In the first episode, my two favorite players were Gabi Pereira and Marcelo Amoroso. I was impressed with Gabi's first goal of his career, that long banger. And then Amoroso had a great performance in his first game. Not only did he get the clean sheet, but he also had an assist to Gajic. It's now Gabi Pereira to Bagui. Fellow countryman sees the run from Palacios. Here comes Palacios. We might get an early lead here. Palacios plays his cards right, cuts around, finds a pass, goes for Gajic. Oh, I thought that was in for a sec. Maybe a chance for us to get this ball moving as Palacios sees the run from Vaca. Vaca is past all the defenders here. It is a foot race as Vaca puts the foot on it, but just wide. Trying to get through, trying to open up some space here. There's a good block. Bagui not going to get it though as it lands to Fernandez. Fernandez hits the post. There's a chance for a rebound. And thankfully, there was some sort of offside call. So we didn't have to deal with the repercussions of that rebound. Finally, the ref will call time. So nothing to write home about so far in the game. As no team has scored yet. Start of the second half looking to build off of the momentum we had in the first. We did have a couple decent chances. One by Vaca, another by Gajic. Palacios trying to stick a foot in, but he's going to miss completely. So now here's a foot race. Fernandez is going to win that one against Virginia. Virginia getting beat by pace. There's the shot near post. And there goes the lead. Hurts when you have slow defenders like Virginia and Spoli. It's Fernandez just rockets right past both of them. And the home team takes the 1-0 lead. Rodriguez still with it. Just pushing the corner. We'll find Fernandez. Fernandez with a shot. Good save, Amoroso. It's now... Fernandez slides that through. There's another shot and there's another goal. It will be the second for Fernandez. Not the start that we wanted to this episode as we do drop points at the Elephant's Graveyard. Really didn't have a clear-cut chance. It was the home team all the way. They deserve the victory and we don't deserve a single point. For the second game of the episode, we take on rivals Buenos Aires, a.k.a. Boca Juniors. I know a lot of people are ticked off when it comes to career mode. Boca Juniors are not in the game. And I'd have to say, I feel the same way. I'd like That was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this type of save, was because they would get the licenses back for Boca Juniors and River Plate. But apparently it's just for the tournament mode and foot. 
Again, they don't really care about career mode. Keep moving the ball forward. Zarate is going to try to find Salvio. Salvio is past Maroya. Maroya trying to recover. Oh, no. That was a penalty. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's a corner. Then what a great play. For a second, I thought it was like, oh, no. It's like the worst way to start this game, but... Wow, what a defensive stop. There is a shot, another good save. This time it is Amoroso, the goalkeeper, getting in the way. Uh, get that out of the way. Now here is Gabi Pereira. Gabi Pereira has an open Vaca, and we might have the chance already. This Vaca is going to have to center it through. Gabi Pereira, oh my god. Oh, that was bad. That was really, really bad. Oh, I didn't want to play that, so we'll be taken back by Boca Juniors. This is Reynoso. Man who I might sign in another career mode with Minnesota United. That's going to take a while, though, since that's even more screwed up than the transfer deal in real life. Tries to cross it in. Good play by Maroya. Maroya doesn't get the pass entirely to Gaich as it will stay with the team in white. Buffarini to Zarate. Zarate, open shot. Great save once again. Amoroso. Last chance. Does get a cross in. Looking for Gaich, but he's just too far back. That will be the end of the first half here at home. I mean, it's good so far. No goals conceded as of yet. We're holding our own. Herrera does cut past one defender. Good skill moves. Is he still running? Still running. Trying to stay past Buffarini as he will. Here's a chance now. Gabi Pereira tries to put it to the far post, but it will be saved. Spagui will win it. We'll find Vaca. Vaca back to Bagui. Bagui with a chance for an open shot, but will hit the head of a defender. Not enough, though, as it will stay with Salvio. Salvio with a shot off the post and almost goes in off the other. And once again, that post has been a lifesaver for us today. Gajic out wide to Barrero. As Barrero is just going to go out trying to find Vaca, but that crosses off target by a mile. And that will do it here at home. So we don't win. But we don't lose. We get the draw. No score whatsoever. Got to say the MVP of this one, without a doubt, is Amoroso with all of his saves. Again, he might be young, but he's playing beyond his years. Simulating the game against Banfield as we are away, and we do lose by a score of 2-0. Arias, not our Arias. The other one for Banfield, able to get two goals. During the off-camera period, I did sign a couple players to the Youth Academy. One is Julian Galeno. 62 overall with a potential of 69 to 89 and then also ramiro cabrera cdm 15 years old 45 overall with potential of 67 to 87. for our first scouting report we do have argentina and that hernan suesta i'm going to look at him last because 57 to 77 that looks incredible so we have lino ponce ah uh, not looking too good barrios nope another barrios nope Hernan cabrera does have a decent potential, so we'll let him simmer for a bit. We'll see how that unfolds later. Here on Suesta, 57 to 77 overall, potential of 68 to 92, and has a valuation of $700,000. Next one we have is Vicente Sandoval in Paraguay. It is his last month in Paraguay. So we have Esteban Cano, 120. I, mm, I'm going to hang up. I, I'm not really seeing anybody... It's really popping out. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to let it sit. Hernan Suesta is 63 overall. I think that's good. He is a center mid, and I think we're going to sign him straight away. And he will probably be playing first team action very soon. Suesta getting his debut was a sad one, though, as we did lose to Central Cordoba by a score of 2-1. to one. Herrera did get his third goal on the season. Final game of the episode, we take on big rivals, Huracan. Got out wide to Mendoza. Mendoza already looking to get the goal scoring started, but there's a decent header by Spoli. As Bagui will find Suesta. Suesta trying to get his first touch on camera it is a bit out of reach. Bogato will find Kaleo. Kaleo. I think I said that right. Uh, doesn't matter. They score first. Now Pereira. Waiting for a run by Gaic. Gaic is through and he is on side. Gaic with a chance to equalize here. One touch. Takes the shot and he will score. Adolfo Gaic. He has been the bread and butter of this team. Has been scoring all the goals, honestly. Like he probably has about six on the season. As he does take in the Pereira pass. We're back in it. 
And we finally score a goal in this episode. Gonna get past, Mar oh no, Maroy is out of position. Just trying to get in the way here. Not the start we wanted. They just waltz right past all of our defenders. Just like that, we're back down by one. Through ball, could pass. Suesta gonna keep it. Suesta still with it. Suesta tries a chance for a shot, takes it. Oh, and he scores! And on Suesta, holding off one defender, able to get right past him. We have ourselves the equalizer. What a debut on camera for Ernan Suesta, as he had a couple defenders on him, just trying to persevere. And he will with that nice goal past the keeper. He's a run from Vaca. Vaca is indeed onside. No one in the box yet, so he's going to have to try to cross it. Oh, there's an open chance, and it will be scored. Adolfo Gajic doing what he does best. Second goal of the game for this man. We were down. I mean, we've been down or at least tied for most of this game, and finally we find ourselves a lead. Boom. And that will be it. Now that's one way to end the episode. We were down at first, but we do come back. Two goals by Gajic, and then Pereira with the assist, but even better, debut goal, first goal for our man Hernan Suesta. Good way to start his career with San Lorenzo. As always, we will finish off the episode by taking a look at the table, and after that victory against Huracan, we jump from 17th to 14th, right around where the board want us in that mid-table region. Four wins, one draw, and five losses. A lot of those losses came during the simulation as well as this episode. Yeah, it was it was not a good one. I'm just happy we finally got back to winning ways after that one. So, yes, this will be the end of the episode, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.